five hooked up at one time. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> We're still going. Take my, take my. Real bad, real bad. Jumbo yellow, baby. That's a hammer. That's a monster. That is a hammer. Get him, boy. Oh, baby, what? Holy crap, boys. That is a monster. Woo! <laughs> that is a horse. <laughs> that is a giant oh, water God, boy. That's a hammer. That's a, that's a hell of a hammer. Hell thing. yeah. Well, Top Knox Fishing Crew, we are going on one hell of a fishing trip and adventure. A week-long trip down to Venice, Louisiana, right on the tip of uh, Louisiana to go offshore fishing for giant tuna, wahoo, uh, maybe marlin. It just depends on what we're going to hook, but definitely big yellowfin and wahoo. And then we're going to fish what is now becoming or what is people are starting to realize is one of the best, if not the best, catfish fisheries in the whole country down there in Venice and the New Orleans area. So right now we're going to be doing, I think, three trips offshore with Fish Finish Charters. My buddy's there. And uh, I'm going to go out with some of their clients. We're going to film a bunch of that. And I might get to do a little fishing too. And then uh, me and the Fish Finish boys are probably going to do some catfishing for a couple days, ideally, for some big giant catfish down in Louisiana. And it'll be my first time fishing the, the Mississippi River and my second time down in Venice. If you haven't watched those videos yet, um, they're in the saltwater playlist on this channel. Uh, we did three days offshore, and man, it was epic. First day was a little tough. Uh, we made a long run out, out, way out, and the tuna just weren't there. But the next few days, man, we had a blast. Um, but looks like we got some good weather this week, and uh, hopefully the big fish are biting. But either way, we going on a fishing adventure, baby, and you're coming along with me. I've got a nine and a half hour drive ahead of me, which ain't gonna be fun. Mile. Turn right onto the I-140 West ramp to Oak Ridge. As you can tell, Google Earth is going, and we gonna catch some fish, baby. Stay tuned. Well, before we get into the first morning I finished finish fishing, I don't know, man. Fishing down here in Venice, I'm going to show you something crazy, and that's the Nutria Rodeo. And if you guys don't know what a Nutria is, it's basically an invasive rat that's overpopulated the Mississippi River Delta. So every year, Venice and a bunch of other places have a rodeo, a hunting rodeo, just to try to thin the herd because there's so many of them, and they're so detrimental to the, the wildlife environment there because there's not a predator to keep them in check. And uh, after that, they have the Nutria Rodeo, which is about what you're gonna witness right now. Well, we're down here at Venice at the Nutria Rodeo, and they literally throw Nutria as far as they can. Oh yeah. Good fun. Good fun. Well, good morning, guys. We got to see that super cool or super wacky Nutria Rodeo stuff. And now, I, while I'm editing these videos, I forgot to film an introduction for day one. So we're gonna do it here at the fish pad, as you can tell. Uh, we're back in Knoxville, but you guys are about to watch the first day offshore fishing in Venice, Louisiana. We're gonna be targeting Wahoo, trolling big, giant, huge crankbaits the size of my face for Wahoo. And uh, you can really catch anything while you're doing that. but. We're going to see what happens and we're going to be fishing with captain aaron and uh his first mate today 
off the 37 foot Freeman, brand new million dollar boat with fish finish charters. It's beautiful. The sucker goes like 70 miles per hour. I mean, it's the, the, the Bentley of boats. And uh, I can't wait to share this with you guys. You guys kind of got to come along with us on the adventure going down to Venice, which is one of the coolest parts. And on my last videos, uh, I kept that in there because without you going down there, you really don't understand the scale of how big and wild Venice is. From all the oil refineries coming into Venice to going through uh, New Orleans if you're driving down from up north or flying in. Uh, that in and of itself is a crazy fun adventure. And here at Top Knox Fishing, we like to film the entire adventure from bait catching or the adventure, the, the trip from getting from home to fishing, catching big ass fish, to cleaning them and cooking them at the end. We do it all here at Top Knox Fishing. And uh, we're partnering up with Fish Finish Charters to bring you some epic offshore content because we don't have that shit here in Tennessee, but they do down there. So stay tuned. Well, guys, I just threw a, a beautiful net through. I was like, what is that black stuff in the water? Is that bait or is that grass? And I was like, well, we're about to find out. I'm going to throw this 10-foot cast net on it. Well, it was mullet. And we're going to show you how it looks. All right. Make sure you've got no fingers in it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to lift this thing up. <laughs> That's bait, dude. <laughs> All right, now what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. That is crazy. Hook. We don't need to pump, just get a good steady reel. <laughs> Keep them rods bent. Fish finish charters. Hey, look, I'm gonna get you to go under everybody. In the right, in the order, slide up to the right. You're gonna follow him. This go is on crazy. Him. Like, you're gonna follow. Keep him tight. All right, you're gonna go over him. You got him, buddy? Come on, come on, come on up. See how you're going over? Go over his rod now. You're coming under. This is crazy. <laughs> Five hooked up at one time. All right, I need you on a rod. Okay, which one do you want me on? This one. Okay. And then I'm going to slide you up. See where that rock, that line's going? Yep. Stay above it. Well, they put me on a rod. Oh, we're all up here. Orange, let me get you to keep sliding right. Yeah. Oh, this, this fish is hauling ass. 
So is this one. Pull that one's, up. you're going over? Go over and go up. Come on, come on. Keep coming, go in front of him. In front of him. I can't see it because of the sun. Okay. Shit. I got it. Hold on. Hey, Aaron, I got a trouble hooking my back. This reel handle just broke off. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that five fish hookup was all jack of all. And then we got shark. Alright. Laying out the trolling baits for the Wahoos. Yes, sir. Professional piss in position. Going out. Wahoo marks. Hooked up, hooked up. Yes, sir. Wahoo on. Woo. Feels like the right one. That's him. Atta, baby. Body's up. Hell yeah, Captain. And I do believe that's the right one. It's not five jacks at once. It's small, whatever it is. Rip and drag, man. Rip and drag. He was at 90 foot. He's down at 120 now, whatever it is. Real, 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 real. Hooked up with our Wahoo, baby. I had some salt water on my lens and it was kind of salt watery. We had to clean it off. Hopefully, it doesn't look too bad. Real down, real down. Who's up next? Who's up next? Hey, small, whatever it is. Got tail beats. I mean, the only time I ever get tail beats on water is that really big. It's crazy. It takes two or three people to fight one of these fish. You're, this this will be screaming and that'll be screaming later. Those forearms are on fire, baby. Whatever it is, it's big as hell. Well, this fish has been passed off four times now. Oh, man. Brutal. Now we're bringing in the gray beard. <laughs> you gaining? Yeah. All right. All right. No hard pump. We don't need to pump that hard. Nice slow. Up. Reel down fast, but yeah. come up slow. All the time in the world, baby. I asked the captain what I should do. He said, get the hell out of the out way. Out the way. <laughs> <laughs> we got the first mate on it now because everybody's tired. I ain't fighting fish. Got him down there yet? Is that him at 80? Yeah. There's something under him at like 120. If you can gain six inches of crank, you're doing good. What is it? Tuna. Tuna? Big tuna? Big tuna. Oh, damn. Yeah, it's a big one. All right, get him. All right, 
short pumps here. We don't need a bunch of When he's under the boat, short pump right there is all you need to get. Reel down, reel down, get it. Oh man, we can see that deep color, guys. This is a hammer. Yeah. Big, keep it square. Keep it square. Alright. Alright, we're going to stay dead boat now. There you go, we're going down. There you go, just like that. That's all we need. Right? Doing great, buddy. Real down, real down. Death spirals. Yeah, it's the elephant. Yeah. Yep. Real down, real down. Alright, so when when he comes out, now is when you want to lift. Keep yeah. lifting, lift, lift, lift. You, get, you can't give him off one yeah, right now. This is the most yeah. crucial part. He'll dive back down if he does. Reel down, stay down with him for a second. Let him come out, reel, pick up any slack he gives you. Keep reeling. Alright, now start to lift. Yeah, big yellow. Right, slide up left a little bit more. Okay. Stay up on the gunner, stay up on the gunner, down and reel. Down and reel, get that line off the side. Oh, shit. Big old yellow. Real, 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 real. Real, stay tight. Stay Look at tight, more. Stay tight. Real down, real down. I got him, man. Yeah. I put it on. Jumbo yellow, baby. <laughs> That's a hammer, boys. Oh, yeah. Let's go. All right, and then Mark, we're going to put that in that rod holder right there. Okay. In front of you. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh. Him That's a That's horse. the first big yellow I've ever caught on a no man. We were just talking about that. Yeah, I was like, you guys ever catch him trolling these they plugs? No, never. Bam. <laughs> Biggin. Yeah, yes, yeah. sir. Wait, Aaron. <laughs> Can we get with the nomad in there? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> let's pull him in the boat. Y'all get ready? Three, two, one. Oh, Jumbo. Look at the sickles nice. on it. Yes, sir. About 110, 115. Look at the eyes on that dude. We gotta get a picture. Let's go. Donk. I guess that's a decent enough consolation prize for a Wahoo. I mean, <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! You don't do that very often. No, you sure don't. That's a first for me in eight years. So. Look at the sickle on it. <laughs> That's sick. Hey, you ever catch any tunas on these wahoo baits? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, uh, I didn't get this. That's up. awesome. Well, what do you think about that, boys? Oh. <laughs> Is that not the craziest fishing experience you've ever us. had? <laughs> Captain, how big do you think that tuna is? About 110, 115, somewhere in that range. On a Wahoo plug. That's a good one. All right, here we're gonna set them down easy. There we go. Hooked up, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. I got me a pad. That is a, that's a, that is a Wahoo. All right, get them tight, get them. This giant oil rig in the background, unloading uh, cargo, hooked up with the Wahoo, you just after a tuna. Now when you come up, come up, come up real slow. So what the captain's doing right here, you've got the first mate directing the rod in the back and making sure everything doesn't go haywire with that. And then the captain's using this boat and these four outboards to position the boat so that the fish is on the side of the boat at all times. We really try to keep them away from the wreck because there'll be sharks there. Well, we are hooked up with what we think is a Wahoo now. We're trolling, high speed trolling, about seven to seven and a half miles an hour. This string hit, screamed, and what makes you think this is a Wahoo? He just scopes out real far when he's running. Goes up high in the water column. We hooked up. We'll do more talking after we get get it in or get closer. It's kind of like a bad man's game until then. Ooh, baby. That's just after we landed that 100 plus pound tool. Right after the tuna. Got like Wahoo literally one. 30 seconds in it's rolling. Had two short strikes too, missed yeah. two. There's the uh, top shot, so you got about 200 feet left. Getting close, getting close. Okay, this has got top shot. You got ways to go. Almost there, 200 feet left. <laughs> Some of them are just straight brave with a leader, so. You gotta keep driving. You know, if, if these people give them any slack, a lot of times they come off. That's a, that's a hammer. That's a monster. That is a hammer. Get him, boy! Oh, Woo! baby, what? Oh. Holy crap, boys! Preschool, preschool, preschool. That is a monster! Woo! <laughs> that is a horse! That is a giant <laughs> wahoo, boys! That's a hammer. That's a, that's a hell of a hell fish. Hell right yeah! Here.
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a giant, giant Dude, wahoo. Imagine hail. Look at this thing. Don't hit me in the nuts, please. Dude, that's my favorite color. That black Look at that. Purple. Look at that. Absolute favorite color. My man got his first wahoo, and it's literally yeah. taller than him. Yeah. Woo! How are you feeling? Tired. Tired? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this Excited. thing. Excited. I'll pay you a dollar to put your finger in his mouth. Yeah, we'll wait until the end. All right, the New York boys have a Wahoo of a lifetime now. Literally. That's one for the wall, dude. Absolutely. Hell of a job, boys. Hell of a job. I'm having tunas of Martin right here. We got a few goodies in the box. A few goodies, got bait for later. Food. Oh, head on, Mr. Wahoo. Eat our bait. I'm feeling this one right here. Which one are you feeling? Oh, uh, yes. I don't know. Yes, yes. So these are tuna marks, possibly. Those are Wahoo marks. Hooked up, hooked up. Three of them. Three. You guys are up. Let's go. Triple hook up, baby. Woo. Four. Oh, baby. Just staying on top of the water. I got it. Yeah. Remember to look at your lines. You're going to go over. No, no, no. Other way. It's it crossed a couple times. Aaron. Can you see this rod? This is madness. Wrap around the tip up there. Okay. This is crazy. All right, so you gotta come under me real quick. And they're all still hooked up. Walk forward. Yeah, we're gonna slide you right too. And then we're, you're gonna climb under? Fish finish charters, baby. Yeah, yeah, you're fine right there. You're fine right there. I just want to go under the top. Triple hookup. Clear the, clear the boat, clear the boat. This is an orchestra we have going here. If you need me to take one, I can. If you gotta do shit. All right. Keep filming. Woo. How's that one feel? Feel good. Feel good. Feel good? Uh, you tired yet? Oh yeah. <laughs> Jack Cravalli. Jack number four. Yeah. Just hold his head out right there. Well, they're fun. Oh yeah. We'll get your adrenaline going. Give them the beans. Jack for all number four. Those are tunas. These are all yellowfin. Right here. What's that? Just shit fish? That's trash. I don't trash. know what that is. That's a wahoo. But the hard red these, return is. Yellowfin. These are more yellowfins. They're a little too big of marks to be to be wahoos. Gotcha. Hooked up, hooked up! Oh, come yeah, back there and grab it. That one. Oh, grab it, grab He's it. On it. He's on it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Don't there. Got the head shakes. We are hooked up again, baby. We didn't hook four of them at once, so it's probably not a jack. There we go. Ah. Oh, that ain't good. Back, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. 
Watch that rock too. Wahoo. Oh boy. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. I believe you got a tuna. Yeah. <laughs> He, he's taking everything you just gained. And then some. <laughs> tuna, baby! Right, tuna! Can we get this rod? <laughs> yes, sir! Whew. I just took it at the last five seconds. <laughs> Another one on the Wahoo Bay. No, there. Almost, almost. <laughs> no, 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 baby! We don't, we don't catch tuna on trolling baits. I guess we do. <laughs> Slide by you. I like that. I get the rod the last five seconds. Yeah, we're going to try up a little bit. Damn! He's still a little greedy there. That's the way to do it. That is the way to do it. <laughs> way to go, gentlemen. High five. Well, this one's about the same size as the other one, so we're just putting them in the box. It's kind of an ordeal to pick one of these things up. Yeah. Gotta slush it. Look at that. What a box, guys. What a box. Now that's a full box. Woo-wee! So what are we about to do now? About a chum. About a chum these tuna up. Yeah. And we kept one of those Jack Creval because they're little buttholes. Now he's filleting them to get chunks to chum. And then we're gonna throw the chunks down on uh, these rigs right here and drop them down. Oh, give me that big pretty thing. I like having two, you know, you put your chunks on there. Chunk. Nice, I got that one for free right here. Sushi. Yeah, some Jack Creval sushi. Mmm. That looks absolutely awful. People eat these ever? No. No? I'm just going to set off this piece of bait. We are not hooking. We are just hiding the hook. So I just press it right into meat right there. That's all we're going to do. So we're in free spool. We're going to pull from the rod tip. All right? From the rod tip only. If I pull right here, it's not hooked, so my meat's just going to fall off, right? So we're going to settle in. All we're doing is tossing this bait in. We don't want a whole bunch of slack, just two or three little circles right in front of you. Uh, when that line takes off, all you're gonna do, go to the button, start reeling, push down on the rod, start reeling, yeah? Very simple. One of these, so on these reels, you can do that. This Not reel right that. here, whoever uses this, there's an S right here. There's nothing to stop it from going to full stride. Oh God. Just make sure you stop at the S. Stop at the S. And when you get the bite, you come up nice yeah. and slow and then you start to reel. Yeah. They're under us. Whatever y'all rod nothing, I get y'all nothing. All right, we're just gonna keep a, keep a good eye on that line right in front of you. Be very, very careful. Very careful. <laughs> Hooked up, baby. There it goes. We're gonna take off in a second. There he goes. Chum. Let's go, boys! That's a big one. That's a big one. Yep. Slide on back towards there. Now, we're breaking out the big guns. Gonna get some levers now, baby. Woo! We got some help now. <laughs> That's going to be a big one. I think we are. How many minutes in are we in now? Five? I don't know. Five or six, maybe more? 
think you'll be chick to drag deer out for us next time. So yeah. Why are you bringing him to Missouri for? Are you going to Woo! I'm tired of watching him. We're watching this fish come up. He's come up to 140 a couple times and gone back down. Now he's at 100. We're not sure if he's a shark or a, a, just a ginormo yellowfin yet. Hopefully he's a big yellow. Yeah, we ain't sure yet. Hard to tell. Is that some sweat on your brow there, Bill? No, I don't think so. No? I don't think there's some spray. It's a big fish. Leader. Leader. He doesn't see anything. Big ol' shark. Let's see him first before you whack him. Back up, I'm not him on him. Well, it's a gigantic shark, guys. What is it, bull? No. Big ol' shark. We did a damn good job. <laughs> it's still going. Well, we think this one is a Wahoo. 100%. 100%? 100 I'm putting your money on it. It dumped. Yeah, like that line, you guys, is way up in the water column. That's what you want for a Wahoo, ideally. Baby. Yes, sir. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Oh, keep reeling. Keep him tight. Out, 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 out. Get him. Got him. Woo, doggy. Right to the minute. <laughs> Look at that, Good work. boys. Good work. Right to a second, I almost right. have to hand him off. He's on the off. baby. I like it. It's like zebra stripes on it. Wild. Ooh, Look how fast the stripes disappear. Yeah. Crazy. What a hammer. Biggin', baby, biggin'. Back to the box. To the box. I believe you got some pretty, pretty good looking box in there, Captain. Oh, yeah. Yellow fence circle. Good. What kind of baits are we using here? Uh, this is an X-Wrap going out. All the other ones are Nomads. That one's battle proven. Yeah, this one is This one's battle fish. proven today. Yeah. Letting the line out, baby. Well, we've come across some topwater stuff. Whack. Don't see what it is. Yeah, right there. Oh, right there. Yep. It is. God, look at all these sharks. This is freaking crazy. Look at this. Oh, you want this? You want this? No. Pogies. I think that may have been a blackfin right there. That'll help. That'll happen with big jobs. Oh, 
Oh, there's a shark coming up behind it. Get out of here, you butthole. Right there. On this episode of National Geographic, yeah. we're in Venice and there's pogey balls with sharks and black fin tuna blowing up all over them. It's pretty wacky. Pretty wacky. There's the sharks. Right, right here. Eric, come look. Damn. One up close like that. I'm gonna throw it. Shark. It's crazy. Look at all these dang sharks. Yeah. Small one. It's so crazy. Look at him trying to get that bait. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a shark. You gotta open the bale. Gotta right, open the bale. Gosh. <laughs> Gosh. Ah, get out of here, shark. Bonita. Bait. That gum, they're strong. Come here. Oh. It's the battery pack, thank God. Now. That's what you get. Oh, here, just bring them to me. Don't do that. <laughs> really, sharks. there's an 80 pound wahoo 100 plus pound tuna we didn't weigh that one probably 60 70 and another 100 plus pound tuna not a bad day not a bad day boys not bad that way these little fins right here are so cool it's like they're little rudders yeah. look at them teeths look at them teeths that will tear you up The filleting time. Those Dexter knives are these shiz. Oh yeah. Pass over. This man has done this a time or two. A handful. Second day on the job. Second day.
I got it. If you want to clean the boat. Ooh, baby. We're about to see why everybody wants to catch these things. That's Captain Eddie right there. We'll be fishing with him later in the week. Look at that meat. That's some nice meat. <laughs> that's a lot of meat. That's, that's a, a little guy. That's, that's one, one fish. Una. Big daddy. Amazing. You did great, Casey. That's gorgeous, dude. We are getting uh, getting some more bait. Goodness gracious, Captain. That's crazy. <laughs> that is just, isn't that just the best way to get some bait? Tuna! Oh, well, that is our first fish of the day, a big old barracuda. Double up on tunas, baby! Got it! Number one, we have found the tuna mecca. Oh, oh my gosh! Yellow, They're dude. giants. Well, it's morning two here in Venice, and I almost got a speeding ticket, but we out here fishing. Heading out with the boys. You ready to catch some fish? He's camera shy, he's not. <laughs> Day two down here in Venice, and we are, what are we doing? Wahoo fishing again. Yes, and we didn't video this, but we quadded up, no, quintupled up on oh, Jack Craval. Jack Craval is at our first rig this and, morning. And every single one of them got eaten by giant sharks, and we lost $200 worth of the plugs. Yeah. So we left immediately, because screw them sharks. Well, we don't know what this is, but Chad's hooked up. Hopefully it's not another dang Jack. You want me to bring in this one right here? Oh, uh, no, no. Leave it. That's Captain Eddie over there. Whack. Ooh, tuna. Tuna. Bait. Well, that is our first fish of the day, a big old barracuda. Barracuda, that is gonna be cut bait possibly later. He stinks. Yeah, he nice. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh baby, keep going. Grab your pad real quick. Give me a reel in. Yep, we're not bringing the short one. Do it backward. Oh, baby. Boy. 
How's he feel, Pepper? Oh. Heck yeah. I got one. It is slick calm out here. This one's acting awful wahoo-y. This one is acting wahoo. Think circles, Pepper. Circles, circles. Oh, that fish is still there. There he is. Yeah, that fish is still there. Come on, come on. What we got? It's little, whatever it is. What we got? Yeah. Another there. cuda? We got another cuda. Mean suckers. So Chad and I are up here chilling on the front of the Freeman and running offshore now because the wahoo are not where they were at yesterday the water cleared up a ton and they just weren't there so we're switching gears and running way offshore and we're trying to find uh, man of wars which are jellyfish looking thing and they've got these bait fish underneath them and they kind of net them with the net and you gotta try and get touched so i'm gonna show you if we can see one here there are a couple out here we got a little chop yeah there's one I know there was a couple. There's one straight ahead. I think I got far? No, 20 yards, right here. I see this. Yeah, he sees this uh, one, but there was another one. I thought it was right past it this way. Yeah, it definitely, I knew there was multiple. Yes. All right. Kind of like a jellyfish. Oh, that's wacky. Tuca was on that one. Yeah, look at all the tentacle stuff, dude. Oh my god. Look down there. Oh, those jacks? Jacks. Oh my gosh. Look at them in. Look at this. Oh, look at all the baits. Oh my god. All the baits up. Hundreds of jacks. Hundreds Excuse of jacks. We getting the bait fish. But I got him. Yeah, so oh, brother. Now. See all the bait fish in there? Yeah, let me see. So look, hold on. I usually sit it on the desk right there. Yeah. So I did that one time, I and mean, I had a like marble-sized deli flop on my forehead. Oh yikes! Yeah, with a fist. Ow! Oh, God, that's, that's a man of war. Those are all the little bait fish that hang around. around. That thing put it on the yep, I'm about getting out of here. Minutes. Yikes! You see how long that tentacle was? Yeah. Oh, I'm dropping. Get him in here. What kind, of, right there, what kind of bait fish are those, Captain? But they, I don't know the real name of them, oh, but they're, yeah, they're man of war fish. Man, yeah, man of war fish. That's what we call them. Okay. Uh, man of war fish. Bunker is what I, Scott King said, they're bunker fish. Well, if you look up man of war fish, Which they will pop they, up on yeah. Google. So. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I mean a pop card. Yeah. <laughs> they got the bait fish. And they're like weird little leopard colored ones. Yes. Two and a crack. Look, uh, this is what they are. Oh. I can touch it. I guess. Wow, that is the craziest looking thing. Oh, yeah, I only missed one. Look at him. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, That's the wildest looking bait fish. Yeah. This is the official man of war net. We're still looking for them. They get lost in the waves a little bit. Right yonder, right yonder. Mr. Ashen's the professional. Oh yeah, baby, oh yeah. Big daddy, look at this thing, I'll grab him. Just be careful if you grab him, it might come to the jellies on there. Well, I didn't get stung, so that's good. <laughs> if it gets any soft, like if it, if it hits your soft skin, it's, you're going to feel it right here. Yeah. Really? Yes. As long as it's on your palm, I think they're just a little bit tougher. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. All the way to the nerve right there. Yikes. Yeah. Get his ass. Oh, my God. Look, they're blowing oh, up out there. Look at them all. Look at them all. There's a bunch of them. 
Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. I got stiffed off. Come on. Tuna! Oh, who's up? Tuna! Oh. Heck yeah! What do you think this one is? How big do you think he is? Mm, too big, but it's a tuna. It's a yellow tuna. Tuna, tuna. They came up on the chum really quick. That was cool. It did come up. Some more rods rigged up, ready to go. Get this fish and go reset. Reset, baby. Double or triple. Heck yeah. I'm gonna try to catch one of those lures. You can try. I don't know if they will, but you can try for sure. Try valiantly. How's he feel? Lots of fun. <laughs> Glad I ate my Wheaties this morning. You think if you had them up, you can get them, but yeah. I've done it a lot, and you don't really get them. Here, uh... Pumping. Giant, but it's a yellow fin. We got color. We got color. He'll eat. He'll eat. Real down. Real down. Nice short pump when he's yep. close. Right there and down. There you go. Pardon. The leader. Drop around. Stay with him for a second. Doing the death spiral. Drop to him. Drop, drop, drop. When he's under the boat, you don't really want to lift too much. Okay. Just take up any slack that he gives you. Just a nice short pump. Now right? he's going to come out. Oh. Don't, don't put your one hand okay. out there. If he wants to run, let him run. We're using real light leader, real small hook. Okay. Just drop him around. Well, there went all his work. What <laughs> <laughs> came up? Another one come up. Yeah, look, they're blowing up out there again. Ooh, baby. Oh, look at them. They're flying out of the water. Drop down, drop down. Epic. Short pumps right here. Just a crank at a time. Yeah, we don't need six or seven. If you can gain one crank, yeah. you're doing good. Yeah, just like that. What pound of leader are we around on this? 50. Light, lightly, light as we go. Drop him real, drop him real. You want to try to keep his head up when he's under the boat before that happens. And down a real. Short strokes, short strokes. You want to be smooth on that come up. It, you know, he's you're, you're freaking him out with that, that heavy jerk. So just nice and smooth up. Short pumps. Keep the rod even coming down. That keeps his head up. If they get their head down, like if you give him enough slack and he gets his head down right next to the boat, yeah. that's when they take off. Show me a couple more times. <laughs> you want to finish Do it. Put him in the boat. Just <laughs> in the boat. So he's trying to get his head down. I'm just keeping it real tight. And I got I, I got him to stay up at a time. There he I'm goes. Yeah. Solid, solid, baby. Oh, that's wow. a good. One. That is a good. One. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the board. Good job. Beautiful. Beautiful yellow. Greg's on the board with the first tuna, baby. Hey, right, let's bring him this way. We had a bunch of them blowing up. We're going to go get some more. Fill that box up. You guys ready to get worn out too? Nice. Yeah. Greg, Greg, Greg buys dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Hooked up on the popper. On the popper. Get him, Ashton. Yes, sir. Yeah, somebody come up here and get this. That's a badass bite. That was. <laughs> Take that off. All right, here. I, yeah, I need a popper. That? I'll get that clear. Yeah. Thanks, sir. We're doubled up. Real, 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 real fast, buddy. Fast, 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 fast. Fast, fast, fast. He's still there? No. Oh. Real too slow.
right there. Uh, slow, slow, Mark. Slow, like yeah, this? Slow. They're not eating the popper, they're eating the hooks. Okay. Look at him. Were they oh. blowing up over there? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, right there. There you go. I got something. It's small, whatever it is. A little black. Little bit. Little yellow fin. My first tune on the top water. And then grab the line. Grab the, the, the leader below it. There you go. Straight to the Thank you, sir. Yeah. You want to do this next? but I think I'm pretty sure I got that entirely on video. Hell yeah. I think I did. Well, I just caught my first yellowfin on the top oh, water. Go. Oh. Oh, good one. oh, I need a de-hooker so I can get mine undone. Oh, they're going off. There you go this way. Ah. Excuse me. Ashton, this is I got my shit out. Chad's hooked up. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I need a, I need a rock butt. I need a rock butt. I got you. I got it. Oh, you got it. Here you go. Here we go. That's on the little jig? Yeah. Double up on tunas, baby! You got it! Number one. How you feeling there? Good. Uh, Good and bad. Done this that old pin screaming. Chum them up. You want a piece of meat? I got one. You got one? All right, I'm gonna do my thing. Yes, sir, Barracuda is one of the favorites. I'm chunking one out and he's bringing one in. Where? Do it, sir.
Here we go. Oh goodness. You're right, absolutely no mistake in it. I felt it go boom. Viewer. Well, the tuna bite's a little wacky this morning. Now we're trying to figure out how many we've got. It's a box full. This is going to be pretty cool. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Chad? This is good stuff. Pretty wacky. Well, we've got 12 tunas and now we're rehoming our man of war. <laughs> our uh, man of war fish next to a man of war. They can go back. See you later, buddies. Some sort of home. Kind of. We are getting, uh, getting some more bait. Goodness gracious, cat. That's crazy. That is just, isn't that just the best way to get some bait? <laughs> Bogies. Right. Oh yeah, we got the primos. Um, I need that little bait net out of there. Crazy. Look at them. They're just all big yellows, dude. They're giants. Here. That was crazy. Oh my God. Pogey, pogey boy. The pogey ball is trying to hide by us. That is just crazy. Yeah. This is insanity. Holy 
shit. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I mean, that drag's tight. Tight. 180 to 200 there. That's crazy. <laughs> it's still going. Damn it. Get him, boy. Oh, baby, what? Holy crap, boys. He's taking everything you just gained, and then some. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, bull red's blowing up. Yeah. That's great. Super nice for sure. Beautiful redfish, doubled up on big guys. Right. Look how the colors on that thing. They are beautiful. Yeah, let me take it. That's my first bull red. I'll, I'll take it for you. Wait! Triple! Get that rod! <laughs> Jumbo! Oh, that's worthy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! yeah. Holy yeah. Let's go! Well, good morning. It's day three down in Venice, about 5.30 a.m. And we are loading up to go big big tuna fishing today after we caught a bunch of little ones not little but peanut sized ones we fishing with Aaron hello my name's Aaron yeah we go then Eddie's going out again and we about ready to shove off are you gentlemen ready to go fishing yes we are big tuna big tuna big wahoo wahoo Yes, very good.
captain's changing out the treble hooks on the. Got to change out these hooks. The ones that come with it are not. Not it. Not good. Big elephants will straighten these out like they're nothing. Yeah, those are pretty thin hooks. They're good for catfishing. Yeah. It's a catfish. <laughs> By golly. Not yellowfin tuna. Yellow's up to 200 pounds, not so much. Not ideal. Great. Yeah, go. Tell us what we're doing here. We are setting out bait in hopes that the big yellows bite them. All troll baits right now. We're waiting for them to come up and bust on the bait balls, but they're not doing it yet, so we'll troll around in the meantime. Kill some time, hopefully, get a bite. We're getting us some man of war baits now, like we did yesterday. Got a pretty good one looking here. See something is shaking in there. We just got the prettiest man of war of all time. I've never Look seen that. one that's like that. That's that one's like that's straight a, pink and purple. Looks like Patrick Star pink right there. Hey, you guys. Pretty cool. Drop back in the water. Oh, nice one. Well, we've been running all over the place find, trying to find these tuna today. You know, we got them man of war fish, and they're doing some kind of work here. They're doing some kind of work. This fish just tore so much line. I hope my GoPro got the initial pull with it. But we think this is a better fish. She's fighting on a 25 Talica instead of a 50 wide. But we're probably 10 minutes in now, I'd say. Yeah, watch that. Yeah. Ooh, baby. Big Daddy Tuna. Big Daddy. We're still going to send out trunks, Chris. Uh, Tristan. Here you go. You got a good tuna on there, Mark? Under the boat, keep your rod tip low. Bounce when you want to lift. When it comes out, rod tip low, stay down with it. Real, 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 real. Pick up any slack. Any, any slack it gives you when it goes under the boat, you want to take it. That way it doesn't get its head down at the end of that little circle right there. Real, 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 real. Real, 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 real. Take it from, take it from, take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Hold on. Go gang, 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 gang. Oh, yeah. Alright. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Nice tuna Ooh, in the boat. Baby. <laughs> oh, God, there. There. Nice. I want to take a picture of this one. All right, well, we finally got a good one today. Tough going so far. But we got a big old yellow pin tuna. We got two yellows now. And a black. Well, I'm taking me a nice, relaxing break. And Chad saw some popping on top, so he's about to throw the pop up. What do we see? Where'd you see him at, Chad? Big Daddy? I don't want to throw and waste my energy. Right there. Oh, right there. Yeah. Jumping out of the water. Right ahead of us. 
about 100 yards. 11 o'clock to the left. Chad pop on. They're flying out of the water on some some kind of bait. Yeah, it's the small stuff. Let's hope we find a big pogey ball on the way in, get nuked. Oh, did you see that blow up right yeah, there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Right there in front of you, Chad, 12 o'clock. Probably 11 o'clock now. That thing flies. Tuna? Got the worry Two tuna? What we got there, Cap? Coming in hot. Not bad, not bad. Not bad one. Marking the tunas right I'll here. Pull up a little bit more. Excuse me, sir. Well guys, we're back at the fish pad right now and all hell is about to break loose on this fishing trip. We are heading back uh, inshore from offshore after we caught a few nice tuna and uh, we were hoping to see a evening topwater explosion bite on the giant yellowfin like we saw the previous day but we just couldn't get them to bite anything. Well, it happens um, and uh, it's pretty insane. And there's a lot of crazy language going on, and I'm going to leave it totally unfiltered because I think it needs to be like that for you to experience the absolute craziness that is about to happen. And um, with me putting a bunch of bleeps and editing it out, you're just not going to experience what's going on. So uh, if you got kids or you don't want to hear some cussing, uh, just turn off the video now or ask them to leave the room. But uh, if you want to see some really crazy fishing stuff uh you're about to watch it and uh, i hook into the largest fish of my life so stay tuned look at these fucking monsters Christian, fire that motherfucker in there <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one. There it is. Get it. Get him. I mean, I can't get y'all any better in there. Oh! Real tight. Get tight. Get tight. Get tight. Get tight. Get tight. You're on. Fuck, thank God someone can hook on. Tristan, you're fucking. <laughs> no, I'm done. You can go. Please tell me you got that on your GoPro. I didn't have, my, I didn't have it out. 
Oh. Stay tight. Stay tight. God, we've got just giant tuna going everywhere. I didn't have a camera out. I was asleep practically. I think he got it on his phone though. I think so. I honestly got nice I, cast, dude. I'm pretty fucking sure I have it going right in the fucking. Really? I'm pretty sure. Oh, thank God. Woo! That's so epic, dude! Oh my god, I had to hand it off guys, it was too much. I mean that drag's tight. Tight. Okay, so this is the way to get real up to about there. Real up to about there. Real up to about there. Are we ready? I think the one that hit it's pretty big. Oh yeah! Is that a jumbo? Oh my god! That's the one I got on the top water, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap! I hooked that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, that's worthy! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! yeah! Holy shit! Let's go! He came out! Holy! Let's go! 180. God, yes. Holy shit. I didn't mean to yell High five, down. Captain. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Throw it in there, Mark. I'm I trying. If you went back down. I lost right one, too, right before that. I lost one, too, right before that. Uh, I got video going. All right, okay. well, we're here with Fish Finish Charters, and we just landed this guy on a popper. I don't know how much you think he weighs, Captain. 180, 190. 90 180 to 200 there. That is crazy. Awesome go, fish. Boys. Pretty awesome. Great job. Awesome. We're running after some more. Get them, boys. I do. And it got went down by the time we got over here. Yeah. We're now trying to get this tuna pushing 200 pounds in the live well. <laughs> Too big. Too big. No. <laughs> Almost. Ain't fit any more in there. Actually, gonna have to do. Crazy. Throw some other ones in the dry ice in there. Small fries. Small fries. What do we do to this thing? Actually broke. We broke the gas. It's already split, but now it's it's really broken. That's what happens when you it'll still work for a few more. Catch 200 pound tuna. 180. Close to 200. We'll see. Big, big, Lots large. Very big. Very large. The huge. Huge, 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 the huge, huge, that is a huge, got a huge, a huge, huge, I have a huge company, huge, huge, a huge, huge, a huge, huge, I'm always ready, it's not just big, it's huge! <laughs>
It's a baby tuna. Another baby tuna. Captain Eddie. F you with the five minute fight. <laughs> We're just trying to figure out how to get it out Tristan, of the, you take this. Right. the well. Give me that. Look at that sucker. What's what's everybody's guess on weight? Go. What? He's so short. He is short. He's a butterball though. That thing is huge. We're gonna weigh it on this thing. Zeroed out, zeroed out. That has been tested. Right. Weigh the fish over there and over here and weigh the exact same. Okay. <laughs> if, if not, we're gonna have to put a beer. I've been fishing down here for 20 years. I haven't seen it 200. Years. I sure hope. Yeah, right. <laughs> One seventy. He's short. He's just so short. One seventy four. One seventy four. Okay. Even longer. Well, that was just, you know, the absolute craziest. I mean, craziest. Like adrenaline pumping, just emotions all over the place. Fishing experience of my entire life. And hope you guys are still here and didn't get uh, all weirded out because there was some cussing. But I really felt like leaving that in there communicates what exactly was going on the emotions the highs and lows the uh the anxiety uh the captain trying to keep everything uh uh working correctly the fish hooked up us fighting it me being worn out from fighting that thing for four or five minutes while i wasn't on camera and it's just peeling 200 yards of line out with like 30 40 pounds of drag i don't even know what that thing had but like it was just absolutely crazy and I will always remember that fishing experience. And Captain Aaron gave me that top water I caught that fish on. I'm getting this sucker framed and it's going up on the wall with a picture of me and that big giant tuna. Now, hopefully within the next year or so, I can crack the 200 mark, but a uh, 174 pound fish on a top water is just, just mind blowing for me. And what an awesome experience. And if you guys want to have the opportunity to go and do that, I would highly, highly, highly suggest you give uh, Fish Finish Charters a call and go fish with Captain Eddie or Captain Aaron. Um, they are just consummate professionals, the best gear and boat and knowledge and good times in the business. They can't control the weather, though. They can't control the fish bite, but they can work their ass off to put you in the best place with the best bait, the best gear, and the best knowledge and techniques to give you that opportunity to have what happened to me uh, on that trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We've got one more video left in this series. It's day four and we go inshore fishing for bull redfish. And my God, do we absolutely destroy it. Here's a few little teaser clips of that next video. And I hope you guys uh, will subscribe to the channel, come along with me on my adventures and watch that next video. We'll see you. One and none, baby. Yeah, that's my first bull red. I'll, I'll take a picture. Wait! Triple! Get that rod! <laughs> oh, we're on. Again. Okay, well, we were going to release this these is real this. quick. That's our second or third triple. It's not a bad one. In the danger zone. Right there. There it is. Look, get him. <laughs> as soon as you throw it out there, <laughs> as soon as you, we're about to throw a whole mullet, what do you think? Oh my gosh, this is, hey, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Let's go. We got Chad hooked up here on a horse, and we got a horse right here too. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's Where release him. Glug, glug. Look at the head on that thing. That's a good one. Chad's got one taking him out to the ocean. Out to the ocean. This is what I'm using, just jig head. Looks like what, a quarter ounce? Yeah. 
And then piece of mullet. Piece of mullet. Oh my gosh, bull red blowing up. That's a little bit bigger. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh, oh yeah. That's great. Super nice fish right there. Somebody wanna come get this, Chad? Come, come get the fish. Come get the fish. Oh god, I can't get it out of the rod holder. <laughs> On. Yes, sir. Beautiful redfish. Doubled up on big guys. All right. All right. Look how the colors on that thing. They are beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Let me take it. That's my first bull red. I'll, I'll take a picture. Wait. Triple. Get that rod. <laughs> Well, good morning. We are here in Venice, Louisiana with Fish Finish Charters on day four of the Epic Fishing Marathon or whatever you want to call it. And we are going to go inshore fishing today. Obviously, it's before daylight. We didn't have to get up as early because the tide doesn't start until later. But we're going after bull redfish today using big live mullet and I don't know what else. But we're going with Tristan, who is the first mate from yesterday on his inshore boat right there. And we're going to catch us some big bait and big fish. Let's go. I think we're gonna get the mullet like right over there, ideally. We're all pretty tired today after several days offshore catching hundreds of pounds of tuna. Can't wait to get your boat dirty today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're hanging out with Tristan this morning I'm after back. after he put us on a. 180 pound tuna on top water. So we're going after some bull reds today. That's right. All right, I'm gonna let him introduce himself on the spot. All right, go. Uh, you, you can start. It's going. All right, my name's Captain <laughs> Tristan. Uh, I do inshore near shore charters out of Venice, Louisiana. This morning we're gonna be targeting some monster bull reds on some cut mullet. One of my favorite things to do this time of the year. And uh, should be pretty jam up. So Hell yeah, brother. some bait real quick and get out there. Got a long run all the way down river. I'm gonna give it hell. Hell yeah. The mullets are probably right there. Chad's uh, giving me hell about my poor cast net maintenance and knots and everything. That's what I did full time. Yeah, there. It's mullet time, baby. Hopefully. There they are. You want to just throw it in? Yeah, yeah. One and done, baby. You want more? Is that good? No, that's fine. Bait. We're about to do our run from Cypress Cove Marina way down to where the ocean's at, basically. And it's gonna be a little chilly. Doubled up. Well, guys, we have, we're doubled up here. Doubled up. And now beautiful, we're filming, now we're beautiful Venice 
Italy. Actually, Louisiana. <laughs> we are catching bull redfish with Captain Christian's hand. Look at this on his phone. We're going to put the first one in the boat right I mean, it's game on. He's like, throw over there. You should get bit pretty quick. And indeed, I got bit pretty quick. Yeah, these fight very similar to a strike. Yeah, you good. That means there's another one. Come on, baby. Let's go. I think Chad's bigger. Oh, 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 oh. Watch out, I gotta go front. Yep. Everybody move. Yep. He's going for the trolling motor. You good? You good. Madness. 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 Keeps going. Fire Let's go, babies. Double, 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 double. Very nice, very nice. Heck yeah. Look at that. Beautiful redfish, doubled up on big guys. All right, all right, swap out real quick. I'm gonna get those. Look how the color's on that thing. They are beautiful. Yeah, yeah, you want a picture with this one? Yeah, let me take it. That's my first bull red. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take a picture. Wait, oh, triple, get that rod. <laughs> Uh, no, he's on there. He's just real. He's just coming at you. Here, uh, switch with me. Okay. So I can get you a picture. I'm gonna leave the camera going. All right. We on. Nice. And yeah, we're on again. On again. We haven't even had time to like turn the camera going. Like, <laughs> throwing bait down. They keep going down. Right here, that one just got hit. Oh. Yep. Yep. That one's on. Somebody come get get it. Uh -oh, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, go yeah, down. there's one on there. No, I'm on it, I think. I think I'm on it. Or it's swimming and going up the beach. How are we? Uh, that looks good. That looks good. Yep, good work. You want to do it? I think I can do it. Gosh, she's dogging me. Get up here. Look at those big head shakes. Big tail kicks. Oh boy. Ooh, that rise doubled over. Love it. <laughs> More drag, jeez. Oh god, he's got a good one. 
That's a horse. It sounds like a horse. Yeah. That's a horse. <laughs> Is that a shark or just a giant? That's a giant bull red, probably. Yeah, you look at him on top, oh, running. Oh, that was cool. You got a jumbo on the man. But you can see some bait in the water and all swirling around, too. Gosh, they just dog you. Must have done this before, huh? Once or twice. Uh, yeah! Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! I've done that once or twice, too. Here we go. All right. Nice! Oh! Let's go, baby! <laughs> All right, we're about to get this horse in. Oh, baby. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him go. Get on in here, buddy. Come get in the boat. Lift up. Just lift up. What a tub. Two tubs up front. One and the two. <laughs> and a three. And a three. Oh, we put it. And a three. All right, put it down. Dang it. I got debated, boys. I got debated. Oh, we're on again. Okay, well, we were going to release this these is real this. quick. This is our second or third triple. Not a bad one. Right. He's good. Yeah, just just grab him by the tail, tail. The and then push. yeah, give him that little. That one's oh, ready. he's gone. Okay, cool. There we go. He's just recuperating. On again. Hold on. Put a little more heat on him. There we go. Look, I'm gonna throw this big old head. Throw whatever you want. Throw a whole mullet in there. See what happens. <laughs> We're gonna get some head on the head. <laughs> Just like that, baby. All right. We're gonna chunk her out there. In the danger zone. All right, y'all switch sides with each other. There you go. Put that one in the rod holder and get the takedown. I think we got a couple. I'm just gonna keep it rolling. Our cat's gonna keep it rolling. We'll do the net job for you. Right there. There it is. Look, get him. <laughs> as soon as you throw it out there, <laughs> as soon as you, we about to throw a whole mullet. What do you think? Oh my gosh, this is. Hey, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Let's go. We got pre-final weather conditions. If you guys look up, and they are we call chewing. this pig fishing weather. They are chewing. And they are chewing. Yeah, when they're running, you don't really have to reel that hard on them. Just kind of let them do their thing. You're just trying to kind of wear them out. Way out there. Look at him. He's coming up like a striper. Let's see if we can get a triple. They are doing it. They doing it just like the tuna last night. Ah, oh, him on drag. Get up here. I think he's got a little bit of one. Got him. Fish in the boat. Okay, I'll hit that guy. All right. Nice. All catch and release. Circle hook right in the corner of the middle. Yep, circle hooks. Just right there. Oh yeah, look we'll at him rolling. Clean bad. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna release one. Nice guy. This is probably the smallest one we've caught all morning. That's saying something. We'll put him back. Beautiful. There he goes. There he goes. We got that one. Chad may get bumped here in a second. I'm gonna try to get another bait out. Throw this whole low mullet out. <laughs> you want me to cut That's something off of or just chuck them out? I'd, I'd just try and throw, like, you know, I wouldn't even, I'd just throw, throw the whole thing, out. yes. All right, we're gonna throw this whole mullet, you guys. Whole mullet. After a bull red. 
You're gonna watch it live ish. I think Chad just got bit. Come back down here. <laughs> I mean, shit. I keep adding drag to you. Here we go, guys. Here's the whole mullet going down the hatch. <laughs> you ain't catching a big mamma jamma. It's okay. It's okay. We catch the fish. Yeah, when he's running, you can just hold him like just like that. And then when he, yeah, when he's not running, you reel. There you go. Captain has become the cameraman. I am the cameraman. <laughs> oh boy, just got tapped. What a great morning, Captain. <laughs> he put us on him. I think you got a real good one. Yeah, that's a good oh, one. That's a big one. Real good one. Mean one, too. Lord, they fight so hard. They don't give up. There's yeah. no quit. A striper would have done quit by now. Well, actually, they fight harder in the summer when the water heats up. Yeah. Right now, they're still kind of lethargic, but... uh. Yeah, it's still a good good battle for sure. We got some head on the head, as I said. <laughs> there it is. You heard it here first. Head on the head. No quit. They just don't stop. Lord have mercy. What a morning. More drag, more drag. I've been. I'm gonna give him a little heat. That rod <laughs> just bowed over. I right, get him. Can you see the head? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the biggest one in the morning. All right. Whew. Oh, Warner. Thirty pounds. <laughs> oh yeah, at least yeah. Oh, that's a horse. Look at the head that's on this a thing. That's a horse. Look how wide he is. Way to go, my man. <laughs> this is a real big one. This is a real big one. Look at that thing, you guys. Look at the head on it. <laughs> nice. Uh -oh. Hey, here's one. Here's one. Somebody want to come get this, Chad? Come in. Come, come, in. come get the fish. Come get the fish. Oh, God, I can't get it out of the rod holder. <laughs> fish on. Oh, fish on. on. Fish on. Fish on. I may bring that whole yeah. mold in just to get it out of your way. Okay, go ahead. I'll hold that. You want to eh. We'll just pause, pause in the action, action, a brief bait switching intermission. We got Chad hooked up here on a horse and we got a horse right here too. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's release him. Back in the water. Glug, glug. Look at the head on that thing. That's a good one. Chad's got one taking him out to the ocean. Out to the ocean. I put one more bait back there. That's all we got in the water is one right now with that whole mold on it. How'd you feel there, Chad? What do you got over there? I got a big one. Yeah? Chaddy no? yo I I got a big one here. He's ripping. I thought I was going to try to horse him in for a second, but that didn't, that didn't work. Didn't work. He horsed me back. Coming up. This is the most fun. Crazy. There we go, baby. Working them up, working them up. There's that fish. Coming to the boat. Nice old red. The colors on them are just beautiful. Cat broke out a big bait. Great fish, great fish. That's another jumbo. Another jumbo. There's Chad's jumbo. Another one. Crazy. Yeah. Let's buddy. go. Out of way. You guys need to come down here and do this. Catch some big tuna, some big reds. We got one bait of soaking right now. So what are we doing right here? We are. We whacked the bull red, so I'm gonna just rig up it. 
typical slot red rig here. It's a popping cork. I like 40 pound leader to a jig head. Okay. And, uh, dead shrimp. Now what's a slot red for people who don't know? Uh, it's a redfish in between 16 and 27 inches. Okay. Here we're allowed five a person in that range and one over 27 inches. Okay. I typically don't like to keep bull reds because they don't not the best table fare and they're a breeder fish. Yeah. I think it's cooler to take some pictures with them and put them back. Put them back in the water. Um, now the smaller ones are absolutely delicious on the grill. So. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm excited to get some of those. Oh yeah. And then he's got a popping cork yep, with a, a weight below it. Yep, jig head. Real simple. Anything clack, that clack. stinks and has some flesh, yeah. Go uh go find it. Or smash it. We're gonna go try the slots here in a second. So we have something on that's not bull ready. Pull him up there. Daggum stingray. R.I.P. my homie. What was the alligator guy's name? Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin. We hate you. Okay, give me a little more slack on it. Pop the bill. Yeah, or do that. Yeah. And then swing it over to me. This is fun. I'm getting hit. That's about to go down. Yeah, wait for it, wait for it. He's on. I think I have another stingray. Okay, I think I have a stingray on this. Maybe not. Oh, that doesn't look too stingray-ish. Not stingray? I don't know. You think it's stingray -ish? I don't know. He's like staying down. Maybe a bigger one. Really? Did you go to school? I'm, I'm thinking stingray again. again. Okay. Just nice. dead weight. Yeah. That's cool. Come on, buddy. We got some giant waves out here right now, too. Come on. Get up Tell you what, we're having a blast, and we've been out here an hour and a half, and we've already caught our fill of big giant bull red, so we're gonna go after some eater ones for table fare. We're bringing home tuna, some wahoo, and hopefully some redfish back into the sea. Cook up. I bet this is a stingray. Maybe it's a little shark. Oh, it's either a stingray or a shark. Oh god, he's going to the front. No, it's a red. He just bites me. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Come on. Come on. Oh, baby. Peeling line. So from here to come back? I guess. Go ahead. to be a redfish. Woo! One more out. We're bringing out the mullet. And he's got his power pulled down in the back with the shallow water anchors. And we're on this point right here and we're watching these reds move in and out of these reeds it looks like. And he's cutting us up some fresh bait on that popping cork rig he showed us. And I guess we just throw it out there. Yep, right up next to the cane. Do they smoke it when they hit it a lot of times? Yeah, sometimes it'll be a, like a sl slow drag down, sometimes it'll rip it. Sick. Is that one right there, or is that a bird? That's a bird. Bird. 
Well, I'm excited. Chunk and bonka. Pop it or no need? Yep. Pop it and let it sit? Mm -hmm. Okay. He'll even bait your hook for you. How about that? All right, where you want me to chug it? That way? Yeah, right on this corner. Okay. Close up in it. How deep is it right there? Reel it in at all or just leave it and pop it? Okay. Just more visual I'm for the cut. Uh, yeah, I'm up. Got him, Chad. Slot. Slot red. There we go. We got dinner. We got dinner, baby. Get him in there, Chad. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nicely done, Chad. That's dinner, dude. Oh, I just got hit. You put it down though. Come back. On. Yes, sir. Got him. Hooks on. Triple. Triple. There we go, baby. Oh, this is fun. I love watching that little bobber go under. You come off. It's like bluegill fishing, but bigger and more fun. Chad's still learning how to cast. Oh my gosh! Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby, get up here. Oh, look how pretty that fish is. That's a nice one. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish, Cap. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Is that a good one? Yeah, that's a Beautiful fish. Oh, yeah, I'm going to let the captain hold on. I've been on camera all week. He going to make some good dinner. I smacked him. Chad's back in the zone. Come on, come get it. And that hook got him. Those are some good jigs. Let's see. Woo. Yes, sir. In the box. Here's what I'm using, just jig head. Looks like, what, a quarter ounce? Yeah. And then piece of mullet. Piece of mullet. Casting skill. Yeah. I'm gonna get it up in the reeds right there. Ooh, that's that's money, dude. Look at him up in the reeds over there too. Oh yeah, I'm sure they're everywhere. They're, they're coming over here going, what the going on over here? Where'd Timmy go? Where'd Jimmy go? They're like, we gotta come over here and see. A piece of mullet. I got one. Got him. Get out of them reeds. Oh boy. 
Okay. Get on out here. Let's go, buddy. Oh, perfect. Trade you. Woo, loudy. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. They are biting. They are on. We can see them running bait up in the reeds. This is cool. I like this. I like reeling in 20 bull reds too in about an hour. Look at them right there. I mean, I know. That's the one. <laughs> I'm gonna fling them back up in there. Let's see. Let's go see if we can get three on the same bait. Give them a little pop. Now we wait. Now we wait. Come and eat this tasty mullet, Mr. Redfish. I'm gonna get me a fresh piece here. Fresh piece from the goodie box. The booty cheek piece. Okay. Where you want me to go? Past you? Okay. My tip's tangled. Money shot? I kind of like that one. Money? Let's see. Alright, Cap's gonna come in here and show us how it's done. Come on, Cap. 1001, 1002. <laughs> That was sick. Was that not sick? <laughs> I got that on camera too. That was cool. Do they do that a lot? Really? I scared the shit out of them. We got the jumping red here. Captain said they don't do that. They do, but not like not that. a lot. He yeah. went airborne. Yeah, he went like two or three feet out of the water. That was sick. Nice. <laughs> Captain's boxing me out on the money spot. <laughs> here, switch up. Nah, I don't care. You're good. I'm gonna go. Uh, I don't know. I may try to get up back in there. Risk it for the biscuit, one would say. I'm going to just let it dangle there. What do you think? It would be awesome if they can see. Captain's it. on. They're not. Snag. All right, I got, it. I got it down. Okay, now I got it in the money zone. Start hammering them. Oh, he put it down. Dang it. I'm an idiot. I think I got debated, y'all. Really? Okay, you're right. I am not debated. Oh my gosh, bull red's blowing up. Captain's got one on. Uh oh. Look at him. Is that you? Yeah. Okay. I was like, is that one chasing a mullet? What the heck's going on? Uh, they're all over the place. You got your pretty good one there, Cap? What's that? You got your pretty good one there? Oh, yeah. A releaser, I believe. A releaser, not in the greaser. Ooh, that's a good one. They ain't liking my head. Oh, that's a good one. Here, I'll net for him. Oh, you got it. Never mind. I'm keeping fishing. 
Ooh, I love catching them up here shallow. This is fun. This is fun. What we got 20 pound braid, 40 pound leader? 30 pound braid, 40 pound leader. And going back towards the power poles. We're doing a wrap around. This is a good fish. I think it's the big of the day. No. No? Look at that drag. Look at that. He didn't like that. Did not like it at all. That is so crazy. They're right here too. I'm gonna try to get one out, y'all. That thing is going. What do we got? Just a big old bruiser. They're boiling next to the boat. So wacky. Is that a lighter rod? Yeah. Or, okay. Ah, oh, extra fun. I have a lot of drag on it too. It's not like I have a loose drag. Dude, that's a big one. He is big. Yeah, he's big. Uh, that's big. Just fighting like mad. Dude. Dude, that's got to be the biggest one of the day. Oh, not ready. Dude, that's big. What in the heck? That's the biggest one of the day. Yeah. Look at the back on him. I think it is. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh my God, Captain. Dude. <laughs> Tristan. <laughs> Pretty fun on that light tackle. Too. That is awesome. That's a, that's a horse. What do you think, 25, 28 pounds? Yeah, yeah, around 25. Very nice. Hold that sucker up there. They are so pretty. What a beautiful fish, man. What a beautiful fish. See the purple in him? Yeah. Green. Look at the purple on him. You have an awesome fish tree down here, Captain. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty blessed to fish it every day. He's gone. Just like that. Oh, he's got him a slot. Got him a slot. That's the slot hole right there. Oh yeah, we eating good tonight, or tomorrow. Chad's got one. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Get him. Get him, Chad. That's so sick.
Oh, that's a perfect size one. Shmoney. Oh, look how pretty. Yeah. Look at his eye. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, he's on. I can't catch shit now. I didn't cut my piece. Hey, this is a good slot fish over here, guys. They are on. Look at that. Show us that fish. We out here big chilling after wearing out jumbos. Now that's the eater right there. Yeah, perfect, perfect fillet. Got him, Chad. Yes, sir. That cork was like kathunk. Oh, that's a beautiful one, Chad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little drag, a little drag. Oh, yeah. A little drag. He's on the upper end of that slot size. Yeah. He is on the upper end of that slot size. Such a beautiful fish. <laughs> it's so fun. We're striper fishing in one foot of water. Yeah, literally. With a lot more bites. Yes. Striper fishing in one foot of water. Does he make it? He does. Put him in there. Put him in the box. In the box. Go swimming. Ah. Yeah. What a good day. Awesome day. That's how you do it. That makes it. <laughs> and we're done before one. Yeah, done before one. Got plenty of time. That's a little bit bigger. Uh oh. I have a bull, I think. Maybe. I do. That's the bull hole over there. Here we go. This is gonna be our last redfish in minutes, or mine. Ever? No, I'll be back. No, 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 no. This month. Yeah. I gotta get Katie down here to do this stuff. Last redfish this month. Oh yeah. Come on. Yeah, that was my first time ever offshore. Other than on a head boat, which doesn't really count. Oh my goodness. Dude, this thing's still going. Gosh. He's just dogging me. My forearm is on fire from catching all these fish the past couple days. Oh, a good one. Okay. Taking everything I just got back. Come on. All right, you're getting a little heat. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Well, we're going over here now. Trying to keep his head up. Oh, he's a good one. Still going. Look at the head on him. They're fighting the hardest I've seen in this year. 
today. Good job. Oh, he's thick. He's thick, <laughs> He's thick. I think that may be the biggest one I've caught all day. The mouth on him's huge. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. Super nice fish Super right nice. there. All right. My final bull red of this trip. We had a great time with Captain Tristan. I'm going to release him. He's green. gone just a big boil and goodbye well we have uh made it back to cypress cove marina with captain tristan we still gotta clean a few reds we're heading back to the fish finish charters house condo but we've had a hell of a couple days definitely nuts almost 200 pound tuna last night i don't even know how many bull reds we got today and giant wahoos just everything just crazy 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 i'll hit it right for sure we did. At the right time, good weather. It was okay. beautiful. And uh, I'm about to fall asleep right now. And I'm sunburned to death, it looks like. But uh, we have a hell of a time, hell of a time. We got the Bubba Blade, electric, the easy way. Are both of these your coolers? Show us how to do it on the old bow blade. Probably time for new blade. They get a workout. Yoink. Bam. Easy peasy. Well, this is our final day here in Venice, and we are headed back home to East Tennessee after one hell of a trip with Fish Finish Charters here in the Fish Mecca, where there's only fish. There ain't nothing else. We had just a blast. We caught giant wahoos, huge tuna. My first tuna ever on a top water that was 175 pounds. Just crazy, crazy craziness. And uh, we've got a bunch of food to bring home with us all the coolers are filled other than the bait one here that'd be pretty nasty and uh yeah so just just a fish fishing trip of a lifetime every single time i come down here when you time the weather weather right like we did this time it was just on we were able to get offshore and just do whatever we wanted to do and it was just absolutely sick so if you guys are interested in doing uh some offshore stuff uh captain Aaron and captain aaron are the best in the business aaron's uh Young guy like myself, but he's hardcore and crazy about it and super passionate. As you can tell in the videos, I'm probably going to leave some stuff unedited with just everybody screaming at each other because that's real. That's what happens when you're hooked up with a monster. And uh, Eddie's the exact same way. He's just been doing it for 40 years or however long. He's an OG down here. Um, and Aaron's will be one in the future. And I can't wait to come back down. So thanks for watching. Uh, we'll have links to all uh, the guide stuff below. Uh, thanks to Tristan uh, for the bull redfish. I mean, that was crazy. I mean, I'm probably forgetting stuff right now, but I mean, I've just had a crazy trip. Absolutely exhausted. And we got a 10 hour drive ahead of us back to East Tennessee, but damn if it wasn't worth it. We'll catch you next time on Top Knox Fishing. Thanks for watching.